I think people get really emotionally connected with their clothing, mainly because it's, it's about a personal style, it's about expressing yourself. If you find a piece of clothing that makes you feel good, it, it can really help you through the day. Um, and I think it's important, it's important to be able to, to have that freedom. We started a long time ago, um, myself and uh, my colleague Mandy, she um, had this idea where she wanted to sell vit, um, ethnic clothing. So we got together and decided that we were going to um, go to India, buy clothes and bring them back. So we started with a market stall, then we got a shop. and. I've always loved the vintage side of things, so we decided to go along those lines. Because we're a vintage shop, we're about the past, so m pretty much all of our styles sort of come from the 1920s right through to now. I'm sure in the high street you'd probably find lots of sort of interesting new designs, but often they're a take on, on the past. I think people have explored so widely in the past, it's probably hard to escape from it completely. <laughs> At the moment, I think 80s and 90s clothing are very popular. We're selling a lot of bombers, bright coloured clothing, denim, um, anything a bit sort of outwear. I think people are, are wanting to express themselves with lots of colours, interesting glasses and accessories. Denim just looks great. It's really comfortable. Um, it, it lasts for a long, long time and it, it just feels so good when you're wearing it. I don't think any style should stay in the past. I think anything that's interesting should be used, reused. I think comfort is pretty important for people. Um, I mean, personally, I really like sort of 70s sort of styles, um, flares, and you know, there was some sort of really interesting combinations in the 70s, and it, it was all quite wild. Uh, so I like that. The 60s is sort of feels, um, it has got a wildness, but it sort of feels quite neat and um, a bit more sort of conventional. Um, 1940s is, is really popular. The clothing was so well made and the attention to detail was fantastic. So I think 40s clothing, yeah, definitely we should follow in the footsteps of 40s. <laughs> I particularly remember when um, I was a kid my mum was really into her clothing. She's, this was in the 70s, and um, she was out. She was quite outgoing. And I can remember my sister and I sort of sat in the car. She'd come into Southampton to buy her clothes every Saturday. And my sister and I would sort of sit in the car and wait for her to come. You know, we'd pick her up with my dad. And then we'd go home and she'd sort of put the clothes on. And we were like, yeah, mum, you're so cool. So I think that sort of really um, is embedded in my memories of clothing. Every era is amazing in the way it sort of twists and changes and um, people's views on fashion swing so wildly from, you know, what is fashionable to suddenly what isn't.